to our top political story of the morning now, and it's this plan to repatriate uh, women and children from Syria. And joining us for some reaction to this now is the independent Senator Jackie Lambie. Uh, Senator, good to see you this morning. So uh, should women and children be brought back from Syria to Australia? <laughs> it's funny, isn't it, with the change of government, because all the briefings that I've had, Pete, over the last um, three or four years have been um, no, because, uh, first of all, um, because of radicalisation mm. and security aspects, aspects attached to that, now all of a sudden we're turning around and bringing them home. I think the other problem is out there, it seems to be a deterrent from what is still going on in Afghanistan, that we've still left our interpreters out there and those who help the Western countries, especially their, our own veterans themselves, who stood by them through that war, become very good friends of them. The trust was built, and yet we've left them over there. Uh, we've got no way forward. Um, we don't know um, what is going on with those interpreters. So I asked the government, if you seriously cannot get those interpreters out of Afghanistan, then have the guts to come out and say so, so they can try and make their way to safety for them and their families and get on mm. safe ground somewhere until we can actually work out what we're doing with them. So for me, I find this a terrible deterrent at this point in time that we're talking about these women and children, which in the last, like I said, three or four years have been made very clear to me that they are a security risk mm. and the chance of radicalisation is very, very high. So we have a problem here, Pete. The other thing is these kids that have been in these detention centres or these camps, sorry, into these um, camps out there. I was actually very lucky to be able to go and visit those about four years ago. They are atrocious conditions. There is no doubt about that. But I can tell you the stuff that's going on in those camps. Um, there is no room to move. There is no privacy. Um, the abuse, both physically and psychologically, is really, really um, at a heightened level. Um, they are shocking. So, mm. and I'm still, and Pete, the other thing is how. Was this broken by the newspaper? Um, is this now going to be a problem? Did they know we were coming to get these um, mothers and kids out? Because now that's been completely out there um, in the news in the last 24 hours. Is this now going to put um, a high risk on those who are going in to try and save them? So I'm just not sure where we are right now. They're all valid points that you make there, uh, Senator. Um, so, so just back on, on the women and children, I mean, you described the, 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 the horrendous conditions they are in. So, so is that a no or a yes from you when it just comes to the women and children from Syria? Um, I'm really I'm struggling to hear you this morning, Pete. So right. um, it is this, like I said, I have been in, in, those, uh, in those camps, in those conditions about uh, four and a half years ago. Um, they are highly toxic. It is um, concerning. They are going to be a security risk, whichever way we look at it. Um, we're also going to have to spend a phenomenal amount of money on their children um, to bring them both up physically um, and obviously psychologically. They're going to need a lot of psychological help um, more than likely for the rest of their lives because, like I said, those conditions in those camps have been horrendous. Sure, uh, yeah. Like I said, the physical psychological abuse. Yeah, no, no, and that's fair enough. Yeah, sorry, I, I might have been covering my microphone. So, so do you believe they should be brought back, the women and children? Um, well, you know, I like to listen to the um, to ASIO and the security experts on this. And like I've said, up until today, um, this is the first I've heard it, this is a turnaround, that they have been a security risk. Uh, that was made quite clear over the last few years, um, definitely, and that is why we couldn't bring them out of there. So I'm not sure what the sudden change is and why now it's not a security issue um, yeah. or anything like that. So I'm just not sure, mate. I guess we're going to have to have those meetings behind closed doors as soon as possible and find out what is going on. 